Blessed love to everyone. This is the Honorable Priest Isaac. I'm inviting you to join me on Sunday, the 4th of October 2020 at 7 p.m. sharp for the official online book launch of the Heavens Declare the Glory, our brand new electronic book. This evening, we will be also having a dynamic lecture entitled Rastafari and the Cosmos, where we will be going into the link between Haile Selassie I and the movements of the heavens and the astronomical clock. We will be speaking of his link as it relates to the biblical scriptures and the Solomonic dynasty. And we will be going into the connection of, yes, Haile Selassie and the ancient Kemetic Egyptian kings that people refer to as pharaohs. So you don't want to miss this. This is our first official online lecture. This is the fourth day of October. 2020 it is a sunday evening 7 p.m sharp the entrance fee or the admission fee for this lecture is only 20 dollars united states currency but we have a special before the 11th of september if you buy your ticket before the 11th of september you will get it for only 13 dollars yes 13 dollars before the 11th of september you can make your payments via cash app dollar sign atonra 2723 capital a t o n capital r capital a 2723 cash app dollar sign aton 2723 or if that is not available for you you could just contact us via email priest isaac 27 at gmail.com for more information and of course you will have to contact us via our email so we can send you your key that you will be able to enter into the lecture hall on the 4th of October 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time so I'm looking forward to seeing you. we will have a wonderful lecture online lecture many of you have been looking for precise to come to your city and town now you can come to me and join us in the virtual world again for our first official online lecture and it will be the official launch of the evil entitled the heavens declare the glory remember this lecture is entitled rastafari and the cosmos i'm looking forward to see you. blessed love we do say blessed love to each and every one salamta of course it is a joy that you are here with us you are supping with us in the tiger's nest we glorify the power and the might of the holy trinity and brahili Selassie the first in all our doings and sayings of course the honorable priest isaac here with you very thankful for your presence with us let me just begin by apologizing for that program that we did previous evening dealing with rastafari and the cross and everything of such nature if you would notice uh, if you would have noticed we were highlighting the solar system and we were highlighting the star using a specific astronomical software but it seems as if i was not sharing the screen when i was doing that aspect of the presentation although it was just for a few minutes i i, I noticed that we missed that and i know those who were paying attention would have noticed that so i i'm just taking a few moments to highlight what it is we were sharing i was using this specific software here and we were highlighting the southern cross you see it here the southern cross those who missed the program it's just about 24 hours ago we uploaded that one directly dealing with the cross and we were highlighting the cross as as it being an ancient symbol you know the, the not just the crucifix and the story that usually comes with it the culture that we have adapted around it but that it was older th than that the literal crooks and we were highlighting here the southern cross and we were highlighting epsilon 
and many other things. In fact, as I said, using this software here, um, which we will be using, by the way, this software, I'll be using it as well for our presentation on Sunday evening. And don't forget, it's just seven days away now, Sunday evening, Sunday the 24th, the pardon me, Sunday the 4th, today would be the 27th of September. And we're getting to that now. But Sunday the 4th of October, as you know, we will be coming with that grand lecture, Rastafari and the Cosmos. And we'll be, we will be utilizing this software plus the software known as Stellarium and many different other uh, aspects of you know, information, pictures, and, and videos, and a few other surprises that we have for you, for all of those who will be stepping into the lecture. So what you have here, you could see the Southern Cross here. Remember, the Southern Cross is one of those circumpolar stars, Southern circumpolar stars, to be precise. And remember, the closer you are to the, the Southern or the Northern celestial polar point, that is how you become a circumpolar star or circumpolar, circumpolar constellation, as you can see. The, the constellation, the crooks or the Southern Cross, it just goes around in that circular form because, again, it's a circumpolar star. So let me just highlight this again for you. What you could do, you could just take this and merge it with the, the episode that we presented to you previous night, the previous episode to this one on YouTube. This is what we were highlighting, but somehow I, I did not share this aspect of the presentation. Only after looking at it, we noticed that it was not the same. So the 27th now, the 27th day of September, a very important day, and this is what I want to highlight right now. As we mentioned even in our previous program, the 27th day of September is a very important day in Ethiopia. And I want to speak of the origin of Rastafari. Now, when we say the origin of Rastafari, we understand that Rastafari is a cosmic thing. When I say Rastafari, I don't mean just the movement. I mean Rastafari, the energy. Rastafari is creation, the chief creator. The name alone means that that it's its creation in its chief form, head creator, as we would like to say. So Ras Tafari itself now as a movement, which is I and I that has taken up such a concept and understood the divinity of Ras Tafari himself. That is Emperor Haile Selassie the first, for those who don't know, but I'm sure that the vast majority of this audience knows that Haile Selassie is a Ras Tafari. No, Tafari. And someone was asking me, why am I calling him Tafari? What's up with that? Well, uh, my good brother or sister, whoever it was, from my understanding as I'm a student of this, you know, the, the right pronunciation is a Tafari. And I didn't make that up. I didn't decide to try that for myself. This is what I'm getting from those who understand the culture. So it is Tafari, the young Tafari, who got the name Leech Tafari and became Deshamaka, the Deshamaka Tafari at the age of 12, 12, 13, then became governor of several provinces at such a young age. Now, it was in 1916 that he uh, became the regent prince of Ethiopia. And at that same time, Empress Zaditu became the empress. And Empress Zaditu is the daughter of Menelik II, who is the emperor of Ethiopia that, that defeated Italy in the Battle of Adawa. And he is the emperor that preceded officially Emperor Haile Selassie I as emperor. But in between that, you had an empress. And here she is, Empress Zaditu the Empress. Now, interestingly, she became Empress on the 27th day of September 1916, according to the Western Gregorian calendar. At that very same time, the very same day, it was like a double coronation. At that same time, Tafari became Rastafari, where we get the term Rastafari. You know, the eye is very powerful. Eh? The eye is one of the sounds made by the pyramid. Yeah, the pyramid make two sound, eh? Check the scientists, it's the eye. The eye is deep. And the humming, the um, 
the I and the um, and those as Bobo Shanti, you know, in every hymn, is chorus and it's I, 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 whatever you're singing, and it's humming. Mm -hmm. Them is the two sounds the pyramid makes. Some of you who, who, who disrespect the craft that we bring out, sometimes you need to take your time. If you don't know, you just don't know. You should be quiet, to be honest, straight up. So that is the sound that comes from the pyramid. And that is the sound that we make in our service naturally. So I'm showing you that Ras Tafar I is the name, the term that we use, Ja Ras Tafar I, is the name of Haile Selassie I. The coronation name, the 2nd of November 1930, is Haile Selassie I. In fact, that is originally, from my understanding, his baptismal name. But the name he used as a youth, Lij Tafar I, or Tafari and the Deshmark, and then as I said in 1916, remember he was born in 1892, so by 1916 now, he got the title Ras, the Regent Prince, and he got the title the very same day that Empress Zaditu, the daughter of Menelik II, became Empress Zaditu, the Empress of Ethiopia. And this day is already a celebration day. This day is Maskel, the commemoration of the finding of the true cross of Christ. And I'm saying that we as Rastafari should celebrate this day. If you notice, you know, every now and again, I always bring up certain dates that we as Rastas, we don't really check for, but we should look into them because this is a power day. Now, this, the 27th day of September is a very special day for me personally, outside of the Maskell, and I really appreciate Maskell. But even if you're not into the, the finding of the true cross of Christ stuff, I'm not trying to bring you into an orthodox traditional, you know what I mean, atmosphere. Because to me, I'm not into the Queen Helena business myself. Eh? Trust me, I mean, come on. And lighting fire, finding the true cross that Jesus was crucified and all of that. And as I said, according to the Ethiopian legend, they have, they have the, the, the relic. They have at least some aspect of the cross. I've never seen it, neither in a documentary or in a picture or anything of the sorts. You know, you have certain artifacts and they say, look, the picture here. Well, I've never seen a picture of the, the cross or the, the aspect of the cross that Ethiopia supposedly have. I'm not fighting their legend or their belief. And if they say they have it, who am I to doubt them? You understand? But I definitely I'm not following the Queen Helena, the mother of Constantine's story and the, the miraculous fire that she lit that carried her to the, the spot where the cross of Christ was. No, nah, man, trust me. But I'm just saying, you don't have to fill your head with that. This is a special day. This is the day that Haile Selassie got the title that we shout and praise. Ja Rastafari. So why, why, I mean, we, why should we overlook this day? Why shouldn't we reverence this day? We should bingy on this day. You should have service on this day. All the stuff you do for the 2nd of November, the 23rd day of July, and the other days. Because this is a key day. Now look at this day to show you how Rastafari is so balanced. Do you know on the 2nd of November, we highlight the fact that Haile Selassie was crowned with his empress, Empress Menen. And this whole science stands out, eh? rightfully so, because we know that the tradition doesn't really allow the empress to be crowned with the king at the same time. From our studies, it's like three days after in a, in a, you know, a, less, a lesser elaborate celebration, really. Not the same thing. But Haile Selassie was crowned at the same time, in the same place, in the same way with the Honorable Empress Menin. And that has stood out to us, especially as Rastafari, and it should be a, an example to us to balance off the reality of nature. Nothing happens in nature without the positive and the negative. And the, and the term negative is a kind of psychological play on your mind, but it means the male and the female. Nothing happens without that polarity balance. It is impossible. Now, what is interesting to me is that when the, the emperor Haile Selassie received the, 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 great, the great title of Ras, 
prior to emperor when he got the title ras which is the 27th day september 1916 again when he got that title which i am saying we should revere that day we should you know I mean reverence that day because that's the day when tafari got the title ras that is that is key because that is that is what we are we don't call ourselves selassieites you know? we call ourselves by his name according to the scripture the only philosophy or tradition or, or if you want to say religion where the followers have the exact name as the leader and that's what the bible says the children shall be called by his name and we are actually called by his name that's why when people say oh you're rastafarian no 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 i'm not i don't no 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 i'm a rastafari that's what i am because the children are called by his name but interestingly when he was crowned rastafari at the very same time empress zedito was crowned empress now that is outstanding again because even prior to empress zedito there was empress tai too they usually have an empress over ethiopia but the empresses would rule with the emperor empress zedito is one of the very few empresses that ruled as the sovereign like she was the head of ethiopia she wasn't the wife of an emperor she was the empress she was the head you know just like from the time of the queen of sheba there and what is interesting so between sheba and empress zaditu you don't really find you know no great amount of a woman ruling ethiopia especially in the capacity as empress zaditu and i'm just saying that interestingly she became empress the very same time it was almost a double ceremony it was to be honest she became empress the same time when tafari became a ras so you have him coronated as rastafari at the same time she was coronated empress zaditu there you see the, the the balance again of rulership and power masculine and feminine and he highly selassie was a key part of that these unique things he was a key part and then when he became emperor now on the 2nd of november here again another woman crowned empress with him at the same time 1930 so it is without a doubt that you can see in the frequency tradition and the aura of rastafari Haile selassie the first you can clearly see the reality of the balance of of polarity male and female polarity we ain't gonna say too much about that Celestia, ja rastafara hey remember space is limited we're looking for you on sunday the 4th of october blessed love blessed love to everyone this is the honorable priest isaac I'm inviting you to join me on Sunday, the 4th of October 2020 at 7 p.m. sharp for the official online book launch of The Heavens Declare the Glory, our brand new electronic book. This evening, we will be also having a dynamic lecture entitled Rastafari and the Cosmos, where we will be going into the link between Haile Selassie I and the movements of the heavens and the astronomical clock. We will be speaking of his link as it relates to the biblical scriptures and the Solomonic dynasty. And we will be going into the connection of, yes, Haile Selassie and the ancient Kemetic Egyptian kings that people refer to as pharaohs. So you don't want to miss this. This is our first official online lecture. This is the fourth day of October. 2020 it is a sunday evening 7 p.m sharp 
the entrance fee or the admission fee for this lecture is only $20 United States currency but we have a special before the 11th of September if you buy your ticket before the 11th of September you will get it for only $13 yes $13 before the 11th of September you can make your payments via cash app dollar sign Aton Ra 2723 capital A T O N capital R capital A 2723 cash app dollar sign Aton 2723 or if that is not available for you you could just contact us via email Chris Isaac 27 at gmail.com for more information and of course you will have to contact us via our email so we can send you your key that you will be able to enter into the lecture hall on the 4th of October 7 p.m. Eastern Caribbean time so I'm looking forward to seeing you. we will have a wonderful lecture online lecture many of you have been looking for precise act to come to your city and town now you can come to me and join us in the virtual world again for our first official online lecture and it will be the official launch of the ebook entitled the heavens declare the glory remember this lecture is entitled rastafari on the cosmos i'm looking forward to see you. Blessed love.